Once I found skateboarding, I didn't really give a shit about anything else. It's just shock infested, all that area. I've never been so scared in my life. This is the story of my fishing trip to Nine Mile Reef. I won this jet ski like two years prior in a surfer van and me and my buddy decided we'd go fishing at Nine Mile Reef. It's four and a half out, four and a half in, in the summertime full of really good sport fishing fish. The first half was just like the best fishing we'd had ever on the jet ski. It was like we are just high-fiving, just chasing yellowfin tuna schools all around the reef, bleeding their necks, throwing them in the front bucket, the best fishing that you could ever hope for as a fisherman. Those tails sticking out of the hood, we couldn't even close it properly, you know? And that's when we started jamming in. We only got about, yeah, probably like a mile towards shore when it all went pear-shaped. And it just goes blah, 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 like bogged out, and it's like, I was like, what? And I'm like, trying to start it, just going, oh, you know, like, just thought sometimes a ski, you know, might have hit wrong and made something go loose and it'll start again, whatever. The last thing on your mind is your, the jet ski's filling up with water. And at that point in time, we're all three miles out to sea at least. And it was the point when those waves, those chops started splashing up into that front bucket where we had all the fish stored. And sure enough, like, you could just see the water around us slowly getting redder and redder. And I've never been so scared in my life when you see that surrounding you, because you know what that means. Especially as a surfer, sharks are obviously the biggest fear. And whenever you go out to Nine Mile Reef, you're always, you pull in like a fish and half the time they're being chomped by a shark. And it's just shark infested, all that area. My thought process is like, if we ditch the ski, the sharks are gonna be attracted to the ski. We need to just jam. There's only one boat like a mile over there, so we had our life jackets on. We we're just like, let's make a run for it. Let's go for this boat. Let's just try and get their attention. So we start just kicking and scratching towards this boat, screaming and yelling, and next thing you know, they pull up their anchor, and we thought, whoa, we're, we're saved. They heard us. Sure enough, they just start hammering on a hit towards the, the bars to take you in. And we're just like, oh, no. There's no other boat in sight. We can't see another boat. I stink like tuna oil. I stink like tuna blood right now. We looked at each other, we were almost in tears, just going, we've got to try and go for shore now. And at that time of year, the current goes from north to south, like 10 miles an hour, and if you don't make the one point to land, we're gonna either be eaten or we're gonna get to the shore in eight hours' time. Just on our backs, stroke, and then we look over, and that's when we saw that the boat had re-anchored. So we start swimming and scratching that way for like another half an hour, screaming, screaming. Finally, they must have heard us and they jump in the boat, come grab us. They're just in such relief. He's screaming, Yahoo, yank fuck. I'm just doing the exact same thing. We're just losing it. When they come and just look at us and go, do you guys need a ride? <laughs> When anyone ever asks me what's the heaviest experience I've ever had, this is the story I tell. 